So let's do this proof, and let's do it with the flow, the flow style of proof, which some teachers allow you to do. So we've got these tri this um, bow tie triangle picture, I'll call it, and they're telling us that PQ, I'm going to use some color coding here, they're telling us that PQ is perpendicular to QS, PQ is perpendicular to QS, so even though it doesn't look like it, that's a right angle, that RS is perpendicular to QS, so that's a right triangle, even though it doesn't look like it. And that T is the midpoint of PR. So, so here's PR from here to there. It's telling us that T is a midpoint. Okay. Let's come up with this plan of attack. Midpoint means it a midpoint means that it breaks, it cuts a line segment in two congruent parts. So I know that PT is going to be congruent to TR by the definition of midpoint. That's one of my one of my things that I'm going to show. And the other the other thing that I need then is another either another angle or another side. And I can see that an angle that I have is this angle right here and this angle right here are congruent to each other because they're called vertical angles. So that's the that's my plan of attack. Now let's write it out. So first of all I'm going to write the givens. I'll write PQ perpendicular to QS. Actually, I'm not even going to write that. I'm going to write that um, angle PQT is congruent to angle RST. And my reason will be, this is how we do the flow chart, we draw an arrow. Um, I'm going to write the reason like this. Both are 90 degrees. The next thing I'm going to write is that PT, the segment PT, this one right here, is congruent to TR, and that's by the definition of midpoint. And the third thing I'm, I will write is that angle Q. QTP, that's this one, QTP is congruent to angle. I'm going to start on, this, on the same side. Notice that Q and S are kind of the ones that are corresponding to each other. So I'm going to start with S, T, R, like that. So this angle right here is congruent to this angle, and that's because of the vertical angles are congruent. There's a property that says vertical angles are congruent. So all three of those things together give me that triangle PQT is congruent to triangle RST and the reason which I think they like put in maybe put in parentheses or put underneath it is angle, angle angle side A A S. And I have a whole different thing. 